So today we're going to look at a new data structure, which is circular link list. Okay, we implement the circular linked list. Okay, we have the same mechanism as a singular linked list. Okay, so we have a node with only the next pointer. There's no previous, only the next pointer. Okay, now what's interesting is we do not have to maintain the tail. Why? Because the last node always points to the head. Okay, so this is where the name circle is coming from, circular, because mm -hmm. back from one, you can go next, you can go next, you can go next, you can arrive back at the head. Okay, now this gives us some advantages. This is good and bad. So but it's similar to the singly linked list, it goes it, in one direction. Yes, it goes in one direction. It's very similar to the single linked list. So one thing is head is not fixed. Okay, this means head can move. You can move the head. So I can make the head go over here. Okay, because I know that I can get back to this, this node. If I want to get back to this node, I can easily do that. Mm, okay. All right. So if I would like to insert something, I don't need to create the following and the, the previous nodes. I, all I can do is I can just move the head to that particular position and remove the node. Okay. So head moves along. Okay. Now, because head is not stationary, uh, it's moving all the time. So we simply call it cursor. You don't have to say head because we already know that head means something which is fixed, something which is acting like an anchor, something which is rooted, doesn't change. But if you use a cursor, okay, cursor is just moving. So like what we were doing with the temp, we were moving the temp around, we were going forward, we were going backwards. So here we do the same thing with the cursor. So from the next slide on, I'm not going to call it head anymore. Mm -hmm. Simply call it cursor. So the cost of memory here is way less than the other ones. Very good. So third good point, less memory. Okay, it's taking much less memory. Okay. Now the question is time. Is it going to be more efficient? Is it going to be more efficient than the single link list and the double link list? If it is, this means this would be a win-win situation. Okay. Remember, what was the problem with double link list? Let me get back to the previous slide. Okay. Problem with double link list was it Have was to be sorted. No, no, not necessarily. If it's in the middle. What's the cost? Is memory. Oh, okay. Okay. It needs more memory. That's the overhead. Uh, how much more memory we had to, for every single node restoring the an extra variable, which is a previous. Okay, so DLL works a little faster than single link list, but the cost is huge in terms of space. So here, what we're trying to look at the circular link list is, uh, if you can get the same performance as a double link list with the circular link list, this means this would be a win-win situation. Wait, let's see how this is going to work out. Let's see how we can do the same things. Now, naturally, because this is a linked list, so the circular linked list must have the similar API to single linked list and double linked list. Okay, let's look at the API. <clears throat> so what we can have is, of course, the constructor. Okay, what are the three most important methods or operations? Insert. Insert. We have search. And remove. And we have remove. Something else other than this? Is empty. Is empty. Is empty. And remember, we used to have the size variable. Size. Size is important, right? 
-hmm. Yes. If you don't have size, what happens? Well, nothing much, but like you need it to know. No memory allocation. No, knowing the size is important. If you store the size variable, this means you don't have to go and check the size every time you insert or remove something. Okay, because otherwise, you know, there's a cost, which means uh, you have to go over the entire list, traverse the entire list every time somebody asks for a size. So it's better to have a size variable. It's very important. Okay, now let's look at the different parameters. So this is very similar to what we did before. Insert means we're going to pass it a value. Okay, usually insert was void, return type. Search, we pass it a value, teacher x, and it was returning something, which was a node, a reference to the node that contains the information. For remove, we go and search a value. Okay, if you find it, either we Boolean. remove it or we do not remove it. So this is Boolean. Is empty value is going to be Boolean. Okay, how about size? Integer. Should return integer. Okay, do we need to define any attributes? Anybody? What attributes were defined in a singular link list? Head. We used to have a node head. Okay, so here we're going to call it cursor. Okay. Okay. Uh, we said this thing in the previous slide that there's no need to store the tail. So the only thing left is the size variable, which is going to store the size for number of elements. Yes. Okay. So there you go. This is an API for the circular link list. Right. This would be connected with the node class. So what node class we're going to use? Of course, we're going to have node and the overloaded node. That index, yeah. Okay, and then the variables or the attributes would be integer x and node next. Okay, there you go. So this is your node class, and this is your circle link list class. So this node class is identical to what we used for the single link list. There's no difference. You can reuse the same code if you like. Okay. Let's look at the mechanisms, how these things are going to work. So let's start with insert. How do we actually insert something in the list? So in the beginning, here's the cursor. Let me simply short, short, we're just calling it C-U-R cursor. In the beginning, of course, it's going to be null or empty because that's how we're going to define it in the constructor. Okay. Whenever you like to insert something, okay, so we can insert something in the beginning. Now, what needs to be done is we have to be very careful. So if CLL is empty, okay, if it is already empty, what we need to do is we just go and create a new node Okay, put the value, whatever the value is there in this node. And the prayer, the, the, the next is going to point to itself. That's going to be interesting. Okay, so if CLL is empty, what we're going to do is we're going to say currency, oh, sorry, cursor equals to new node. Of course, we're going to pass in the value X. And we're going to say cursor dot next equals to how do you point to itself? Uh, cursor. cursor. Oh yeah, cursor. Okay. Cursor dot next equals cursor. So it's going to point to itself. Of course, size increments, and we're done. Okay. So this is if the the list was empty. Okay. What if the list was not empty? So where should we insert? So again, that's very easy, okay? Uh, by default, what were we doing in the double link list and single link list? If you want to have the fastest time, 
we insert where? In the beginning. In the beginning. Okay, insert in the beginning. So here what we can do is we can create a new node like what we used to do before. Okay, here's a new node. We're gonna go and put the X value in there. Now we'd like to insert this in the beginning of this. Okay, so how should we insert it? Imagine this is your list, this is what you already have. And I'd like um, to insert this thing in the beginning. The head is already pointing, so we just, I don't know, like point the head to someone else. Okay, it, imagine, it, imagine the list was longer. So in this case, you're going to have a node over here and another node over here and another node over here. The last node would be pointing to the cursor. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you change the cursor to another, to the one next to it. Uh, yeah. Could be so, uh, end so of next. How how and where should we insert this? We already have the cursor. We don't have anything else. Do you imagine we like insert after the cursor? Would that be any better? Um, should we just insert it like, like the like cursor this. equals to that thing? Something like this would work. It would be not in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, it's not in the beginning. But you remember, this point is one cursor. dimensional. So we cannot have something before the cursor. If you try to insert it in the beginning of the cursor, you also need to know this one. Okay? In, the, in that case, this one dot next should be this node which mm. we do not know yeah. so this means this means in a circular link list we cannot insert in the beginning the only oh, thing okay. we can insert is a new node after the cursor okay okay so that's what we're going to do now we're going to see else so this is the disadvantage of circular so we always no it's not a disadvantage we always insert the one after the cursor again cursor moves so we can't say this is the head it has to be the head it's not the anchor no the cursor is going to move you simply move it to the next one mm. okay so what we do we create a new node we're going to say node and equals new node okay let's go and put the bobby x in there now we have to readjust this one Okay, so we should say n dot next equals to. Okay, what is the address for this node? Cursor dot next. Dot. Good. Mm -hmm. No, cursor dot next. That's yeah, it. Cursor okay, cursor dot next. So that's cursor dot next. So this is going to point then, over here. Now we need to point this over here. What should we do? Cursor equals. Cursor dot next. Equal like, equal n. Cursor dot next equals to n. Okay, we're done. Or something is missing. How about size? Size, so, yes, we have to increase it. You have to increment the size. Okay, there you go. So that's it. This is your insertion. Now, if somebody asks you, hey, how about inserting in the middle? Or how about inserting at the end? Well, we don't do that. Okay, in a circular list, the only place to insert is right after the cursor. So we go and insert the new node right after the cursor. Okay, any questions about this? Is this clear? Uh, doctor, what if the cursor uh, not in the beginning? Uh, again, there is no beginning here. So the cursor is just moving along. Oh, okay. okay. So, so think of it like this. Okay, this is just an example. So imagine there's a node one, three, again, it doesn't have to be sorted. Two, four, okay, seven, zero. Okay, it's going to look like this. The cursor is here. Let's say this is the cursor. So I want to insert, let's say somebody says, hey, go insert after two. What should we do? Move the cursor to two. 
we have to move the cursor. So check, hey, is this two? No, go check the next one. Is this two? No, move the cursor. Is this two? Yes, so cursor comes here, okay? Now what we do is we insert the exact same code. Simply go and create a new node and insert it over here. So we're gonna have whatever the new value, this goes over here, this goes over here, this goes away, and there you go. We've inserted in the list. So it's a, it's a circle. The list goes around like this. There's no starting position. There's no ending position. Everything is controlled by the cursor, which is not stationary. It's moving. Okay. Okay. I have another question. Yes, I do. Uh, when uh, assign the cursor, we are we when the uh, start of the code we always point to the first yeah by default in the beginning if there is no cursor we're going to create a new cursor like this okay once you have this okay now every time you want to insert something it's going to be inserted after the cursor and uh, if we assume that the cursor is not at the beginning uh, it's not possible to read the nodes before it. No, again, see, the thing is, there's no beginning, there's no ending. In a circular link list, there's no head, there's no tail. The cursor is yeah. moving. So if you look at this now, okay, where's the beginning? Where's the beginning of a circle? No beginning. There is no beginning. Okay, so you just go around wherever you feel like. This is easier than the other things we studied, check for duplicates. Good. Okay, that's one of the applications. Yes, very good observation. We we'll make one head dot next, and the others head, and uh, move them at different uh, speeds. They will uh, collide at some at some place. Yes, yes, yes. So here we're assuming. Do you think this is faster now? Do you think this insert would be faster compared to single link list or double link list? Probably. Yeah, especially because like you can insert anywhere. Yeah, you can insert anywhere you want. There is no middle, beginning, ending case. Okay, the code is very simplistic compared to the others. And the performance, if it is not better, it cannot be worse than single link list and double link list. Okay, so in the worst case scenario, let's say its performance is at the same level as single link list and double link list. Okay, but we're hoping that it's gonna be faster. All right, let's look at search. How do you search something? Okay, so again, imagine a list. So here's a cursor. Okay, so there's a cursor and we'd like to search for some information in this list. Okay, how should we do that? So again, there's no head, there's no tail. You need to start searching. All right. We uh, move the cursor until we reach... Uh, just for the sake want. of understanding, I'm just putting some values. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, just for the sake of understanding. Okay, let's say somebody says, hey, uh, search um, five. Okay, that's X value. So what should we do? Uh, we can check if the curse of the value is equal to five. And if not, we can uh, uh, make another, make, we can make temp and make temp is equal to cursor the next and make it move, uh, uh, check for the value of it's five or not until it reaches the cursor. Can okay. we just move the cursor? Or we can simply move the cursor. We don't even yeah. need to move the cursor and then okay Check. let's move the cursor it's going to be even faster let's 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 go ahead with this while okay while some condition we will come to it in a minute okay so if cursor dot value equals to the x value this means we have found it so we're going to return the cursor mm -hmm. okay if you didn't find it we simply go to the next one how do you go to the next one Say cursor cursor equals to Cursor dot next. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. That's your model. So 
let's say I'm looking for five, this is not five, so move the cursor. Cursor goes over here. This is five, no, go here, go here, go here. Once you find it, you simply return it. But when you return it, where's the cursor now? Mm. Cursor would be at five. Yes. Does it matter that it said five? Is it important? Uh, no, matter? but it's like, it's a good if you have a reference, if like you put it always at one or something. No, no, that's that's the point. Because mm. like in a while, loop, how are you going to break? Uh, yeah, yeah, but that, that's another thing. So that's the property of curse uh, of the circular linked list. That cursor can move wherever, and we don't care. Okay. So right now, after you finish the search, we found five. We stop here, and the cursor is pointing over here. It's not at one, so it doesn't matter. Okay. The cursor's position does not matter. But now that there's a problem. Okay. Here's a problem. Let's say I'm searching for ten. This is good code going to work. Notice 10 is not at the limit. Yeah. Yes. So we start from here. It's not 10. Go there check. No, next no. So, just here, go next one. so it'll keep going on forever. It's never going to stop. Yes. OK. So how should we stop this? Uh, can we make an integer? Like uh, we call it temp uh, with equal 0. Uh, then inside the loop, every time uh, we increase it once. Or how about if you use a for loop? Oh, or for loop. Mm. Okay, and i is less than. Remember, we're using the size variable. Size, yes. Yes. Okay, and that's it. Just use a for loop. That'll take care of it. This means it's going to run only as many times as the size. The size, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That's your search. Isn't this faster? Yes. Yeah, in double link list. Okay, yes. All right, let's look at the removal. How do we remove something from here? So, so far, circular link list seems like a good option. Okay, here comes the difficult part now, and that's a killing seal of the, cir uh, the circular list. So let's say here's your current cursor. And we have some nodes over here. Again, I'm just putting some random data. OK, so this is some just random data in a circular list. OK. So like in remove, you have to first find the node and then remove it. All right. Let's say somebody says, go to move two. What should we do? We have to move the cursor to two and then remove it. I, I think we have to use uh, like uh, the follow and pre previous. Very good point. OK, so here's a problem. If I wanted to move two, I'll move the cursor to two. If the cursor comes to two, I can remove it, <clears throat> but then I also have to connect this with this one. Mm. Okay, which is not possible. <clears throat> Why is it not possible? If the cursor is here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Now you cannot go back. You don't have the previous. Oh, yeah, okay. You don't have the previous. I need this one. I need to say this node which has three dot next equals to four. I need to be able to say that. But if you move the cursor, then you cannot do it. So what's the solution? So temp is cursor dot next, or actually just cursor itself. Yeah, we don't want to use temp. I think we don't. We don't have to. What should we do? <clears throat> not going to use temp uh, then maybe we have to change it first Doctor, there is a way but it will take time if we, we make have... the cursor that next that next is equal to the value of the cursor cursor that next is equal to null and keep going uh, our cursor that next is equal to cursor that next that next 
Okay. <clears throat> what we can do is we can play a little bit of a trick. We can say can while. Can do the cursor and then like just point it before going, like point the three to the four before removing the other one? Good point. Why don't we check the next one? Why don't we say if cursor dot next dot value equals to the x value? Can we do that? Look at the next one. Yes. Okay. For example, cursor. Okay. Wait, let me get rid of this. So let's say the cursor is at three. I'm trying to remove two. So can I not go and check hey, if the next node is two? Can I do that? So if yeah. here dot next dot x value is two, this means this is the node that needs to be removed. Excellent. So all I have to do is I have to say cursor dot next. Okay, so this is cursor dot next is this one dot next equal. again. No, I'll say equals to cursor dot next dot next oh yeah okay does it make sense look or you can do the opposite so cursor cursor dot next is right now on this one so we're updating it mm -hmm. we're saying no don't do that we say cursor dot next equals to cursor dot next dot next which is this one so essentially we made the red line yep okay so this is this one All right, anything else we have to do? How about if size? Not, oh yeah, size okay. minus minus and then if not. Okay, and quit. Quit means return, you can say return. Yes. Okay, return true or false. Or break, and then like return later. <coughs> okay, so there you go. Um, this code not, works just fine. It works just fine as long as this condition is okay. Okay, but we could have a little problem. Let me show you something. Let's say your list is very small. You only have this. Okay, let's say this is two, this is three. We're trying to remove two. Okay, is that gonna work? Is the same code going to work? Oh, no. Let's say we're trying to remove two. It will be a cursor that next is equal to next, doctor. Okay, remember. It's equal to cursor, I mean. It's the same. We did not finish one thing. We had to move the cursor. We had to say cursor equals cursor dot next. next. Okay, we didn't say that. We have to say it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here, once we look at it, so starting from here, so cursor, this is cursor, dot next is this one, dot x3. No, this is not the one. So if condition becomes false, we go over here, we say cursor equals cursor dot next. So now cursor moves to this node. Okay, it goes from here to here. Now we check. So if cursor dot next dot x is two, yeah, that's the one. That's the one that we want to remove. So in this case, we're gonna say cursor dot next. But you can't do cursor dot next dot next. Cursor dot next equals to cursor dot next dot next. It's gonna point to itself again. Okay, so that's a little bit of a problem. Right. This means that before you go into this while loop, we need to check. If it's... Okay, so this can be an unlimited loop. We need to check if size is less than or equal to two. Okay, then you have to manually check which node is it. If it is less than or equal to two, okay, either this one or this one. So we do manually change that. Otherwise, we go over here. So this code works just fine if the size is three or more. Okay, but if it is two or less, then we have to have a special case for this. Like, what should we do here? If the size is one, mm -hmm. and the size is zero. It basically it kind of... Like we can use the same code, but like instead of cursor dot next equals cursor dot next dot next, we just like not point to it, make it null. 
Yeah. Okay. L let me go on the next screen. So if size is zero, okay, well, what do we do? How do we check? If size equal equal zero, we don't have to remove anything, right? Just return false. Okay. If size is one, we have to check if cursor dot x value equals to x. Okay. So let's say this is your cursor and the size is only one. And what we're trying to remove is what needs to be removed. So in this case, what do we do? Cursor equals. We have to say cursor equals no. Yes. Size minus minus. Okay. And return true. Else return. False. Okay, so it's just a bunch of if conditions. That's it. Okay, if size is two, so we have something like this, and the last one points to the first one. Same thing as statement. Okay, so same thing. Again, an if condition. If cursor. So if cursor dot x equals to x. Okay, this is the one that needs to be removed. Then what do we do? We have to change this. Cursor equals none. Okay, we have to say cursor this one. Dot yeah. Cursor dot next. Yeah. Okay, cursor first you move the cursor because you want to get rid of this one. Mm. So you're gonna say cursor equals cursor dot next. Okay, so the cursor goes over here. And now we need to change this. We need to say cursor dot next is equal to itself. Ah, okay. So it's going to point to itself. Here we go. This is gone now. Okay. So, and then the else condition. So you can you can do this thing easily. I mean, it's you can check this one. If this is the one, then that will apply. Okay. So that's straightforward. It's just an if condition. All right, so that's it. Um, that's the remove for a circular linked list. So this seems to be a little tricky, but you can optimize it in a better way when you're writing the code. We'll look at the code now, uh, so you can you can write this thing in a much improved way. Okay, how do I know? I'm skipping back to the API. So we're done with the insert. We're done with the search. We're done with the remove. How do you check this empty? Uh, if the curse is none. Or? The size zero. Yes. So is empty is really easy. OK? You simply check if size is zero or if the return uh, or the cursor value is now, we simply return true. OK, for the size, of course, we return simply the size variable. You already are maintaining this. Thing. So that's it. That's your circular linked list. Now, so we've said this thing that for insertion, it seems this is going to be working faster compared to single linked list and double linked list. Searching seems faster compared to single linked list, double linked list. What do you think of removal? Is this going to be faster? Yeah, it should be faster. Yes. Okay. Um, Maybe not as fast as doubly linked list because it doesn't have the previous or something. Okay. Think about this situation. I'm going to give you this dummy list. Okay. So let's create three lists. I've got, I'm just going really fast. So this is one, two, three, four, five. This is a single linked list. Okay. And then you have the double link list. So one, two, three, four, and five. Same data. And then we have the circular link list. So same data. But five points to one. Okay. 
So let's say the cursor is here, the head is here, and the head is here. If I want to remove five, okay, which one is going to be the fastest? The single. We don't know exactly where five is, so we have to go and look out for it. So you start from here. It's five, no. You check one, check two, check three, check four, check five. We found five. Okay, now what we have to do is we have to do this. Okay, so to do this thing, you need to maintain the previous one. How many times did we have to go and check? Once. Yeah. How many nodes did you check? Uh, five. five nodes. Uh, the double that will not be five. So five searches. Okay. And then we had to have the previous to be able to do this. All right. For double link list, let's say I'm trying to remove five. How many searches you have to make? Four. One, two, three, four, five. Same. We have to make five searches. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what else do you have to change? Uh, you need to consider the previous. Okay. So here you have to say previous or next equals no. Here, remember, this is two directional. And if I want to get rid of five, what do I have to do? Okay. Let's say this is the one that we wanted to search. So we had to go and make this one now. Yes? Mm -hmm. So we had to say the node tab okay. dot previous dot next equals to no. So this is tab dot previous dot next equals to no. Okay? So it kind of looks almost the same amount of effort. Mm -hmm. like how about here? If I wanted to move five, what do I have to do? Same thing. You have to go one, two, three, four. Five. Same thing. I have to make five searches. So one, two, three, four, and five. Five searches. Okay. But now uh, you need to, you can't make four dot next equals null. You can't say it because there's no null in the circular link list. Yes, you're just going to. We have to do this. Mm -hmm. so, like this one. Okay, let's save the cursor. So again, we need to look ahead. And then say cursor dot next equals cursor dot next dot next. Okay, something like this. So bottom line is, if your data is exactly the same, if the nodes are positioned in this particular order, which one works faster? They're all the same. They're all the same. Okay, so that's the thing. Uh, a very big important thing over here is how the data is organized. If the data is organized in the same way, okay, then all of them work almost at the same speed. There's no difference. The difference would be only in the code and how you're implementing it, but the runtime for each one of them is almost always similar. All right, any questions so far? Yes, doctor, if the double list, list uh, doubling list, can't be can't it be uh, three searches if we search from the head and the tail? Okay, that's that's a good point. But again, we've said this thing. We do not know exactly where the position is. That's fine. Okay. So if you already know where the position is, then why use the lists? Okay, we can simply go and use that array. That would be much faster. Right. But if we do not know the exact position. Okay, so the runtime between the array and the list would be exactly the same, which means we, in the worst case scenario, you have to go and check every single thing in the data structure. Right. All right. So bottom line is we've looked at all the three different kinds of lists. We look at the single link list, double link list, and circular link list. And at the end, we're saying that, hey, apart from some performance issue here or there, one might be a bit faster than the other one, okay? But at the end, overall, their runtime seems to be very similar. 